All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Saturday, and today we're going to look at three digital watches, two from Casio and one from the knockoff brand SKMEI, SKME or SKMI, I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but they make a lot of Casio knockoffs, so I got one here on the channel, and I want to show it to you guys, but also here on the channel, we have the GMW B5000, courtesy of the Marshall Time channel. This is the top of the line, or one of the top of the line in the G-Shock lineup, full metal case. Um, uh, 200 meters water resistance, this is Bluetooth, this is a six band uh, satellite communication. So these watches can really get it all done. The other one we have here in front of the camera here is my personal uh, GW of 5610BC1JF. Whole lot of numbers and letters there, but this is one I wear a lot. This is on the Combi bracelet. These ones will set you back about $165 currently at Amazon. Really good deal. Now, this does not have Bluetooth technology like the newer Full Metal G does, but it is a six band and it is solar charged and everything like that. This one here, guys, this is from, I think I got this from Banggood here recently. This came in, shipped to me from Hong Kong uh, or China for like. Um, I think it was $21 shipped to me. Got to me in about two or three weeks. And the watch is surprisingly beefy and burly and good. It is nothing compared to the Full Metal G-Shock, but it's a pretty good representation. I just want to take a quick look at all of these watches kind of sitting here together and looking at the price difference. You're talking $400. $163, and this is one is all plastic, of course, and then $20 basically is what you're getting the SKMEI for. Now, this model, this is probably one of the newest in the lineup of G-Shocks. This is going to be solar. Now, I'm not going to go through all the functionality, but you get solar functionality. You also get six bands, so that means it's going to be continuously talking to one of the number of satellites around the world, uh, putting out that time signal. So you're always going to have pretty much perfect, perfect time on this watch. Plus, having the Bluetooth connect, excuse me, Bluetooth connectivity, it's going to keep your watch in perfect time. Going through a few of the functions just really here on the watch, you've got world time, which can be programmed to tons of different time zones. You've got multiple alarm functions on this watch. I'll just kind of roll through those and show you guys. I think you have at least three, four, five with the snooze. So that's really cool. Plus, you have the signals there. You've got um, stopwatch, of course. You've got your timer, of course and back to your date function. So really cool functional watch. This has the auto electric illumination, of course, when you tip it up, but I will show you guys the light up here. Ooh, wrong side here, Dunlap, it's up here. There you go, you guys can see that backlight. Really nice, and I love the way it, it kind of fade, fades on and then fades out. Really neat feature on this watch. Solar powered, I think when these things are fully charged up, you're gonna get like six months of battery life out of them. Uh, it's interesting, what Chris said that his, it's funny because Bluetooth, it'll connect to your phone and tell you, hey, your, your battery on your watch is running low. So I said, hey, take it, you know, put it outside for a day on a sunny day, let it charge fully up. And you'll never have that problem. But these are really, really well-made watches. The the bracelet on this, this is all solid. And I do believe, like on the Combi bracelet, they're using spring bars to hold this entire bracelet together. So you can just use your spring bar tool to go inside of there, make the adjustments on it. Very nice taper to the bracelet. And when I can uh, compare that to this fake model here, you guys will really see the difference in that. The clasp assembly on the watch, nice scissor style, solid clasp assembly. Look at the, the case back on this watch. It's actually a screw down case back because the full metal construction. And you have all your information there on the back about the watch. Shock resistance, 200 meters of water resistance. So this is just like G-Shock on stero steroids. It's really nice. Now, the one thing you do sacrifice, obviously, by going to all metal is the weight. This has a lot of weight to it. I don't know, honestly, guys, the full weight of it. I'll put that down below in the description. But it is a heavy, heavy watch compared to a lot of G-Shocks if you're used to a lightweight G-Shock. But very well put together. You have the dual push button clasp on there, of course. But it really feels like a watch. I mean, it feels like a heavy duty watch. It doesn't feel like your typical digital watch, which I think is really neat. Now, jumping on to the next one, this is basically very similar watch. It's really only lacking the Bluetooth, but this was uh, model here is in your standard, you know, plastic or polymer that 
um, uh, Cassio has been using for years. One of the nice things with this particular model, it does have the combi bracelet. Now this is my personal watch and I wear it quite a bit and it's very, very comfortable and lightweight in this, uh, this fashion here in the plastic model. Now going through the modes, you have a lot of the very similar modes. You have the world time on here, you have the alarms, and I do believe you have very similar alarm functions here. Yeah, it's basically the same module, minus the fact that you don't have the Bluetooth stopwatch on this one, which I, oh, I went to the gym this morning, so it's running, it's been running for five hours. So the timer there also, so very similar function setup, lets you know that it's in time saver mode over here. Also or power saving mode, also lets you know that it did receive its signal for the six band. Same uh, uh, receiving you know, technology in this watch, minus the Bluetooth, like I said. Very, very lightweight compared to the full metal G-Shock, which you would expect, but looking at the watches side by side, very, very similar. Obviously, size-wise, they're going to be similar. I do believe these are going to be 47 millimeter cases on both these watches from side to side. So wear very, very well. I do like the display on the Full Metal G. I think it's a little bit easier to read, definitely. But both watches getting the job done. Now, this one also has your backlight, and I'll show you guys that here. Also has auto electric or auto illumination for the tilt. So very much the same there. The bracelet itself is the combi bracelet. So it's a combination of these are internal links here are actually metal, but they have spring bars that tie them in with these um, kind of checkered style plastic links here. The hardware on the bracelet is not nearly as nice. You have just kind of this polished uh, pressed metal here. And looking at the case back, it is your standard kind of G-Shock case back. A little more heavy duty than most models out there, but it's the four screws holding it down, not the standard screw down case back uh, like you'd see on a mechanical watch or like you see on this full metal model here. So, all right, guys, now let's put down the real things. And let's take a quick look at the $20 special. Now, <clears throat> what intrigued me to buy this watch is uh, Mad Rock, Jamie, Adventure and Watches channel. I'll leave a link to his channel down below and I'll leave a link to his torture video of one of these watches. He actually had the full black model um, like this one, the, the SKMEI, uh, like this in full black. And he put it outside and torture tested it in the Newfoundland winter. And I guess they've had one of their harshest winters to date. And the watch really survived well through rainstorms and everything like that. It really did good. Now, on the surface, taking a look at this, it really is extremely similar to the Full Metal G-Shock. I mean, you look at the design, you look at the case setup, you look at the buttons, the, you know, the, the design of the case, it really is very, very similar. But as far as the looks, that's pretty much where it stays. As far as the weight goes, this is a heavy watch, much heavier than any of your standard G-Shocks, but it doesn't feel as well made or as heavy as the actual full metal G-Shock here. This one is a really nice feeling watch, but I can tell you just in adjusting the bracelet itself, these links on the bracelet are all hollow. There's also no taper, hardly any taper as you can see here on this bracelet compared to the really nice taper on the bracelet of the Casio. These are typical, just standard, easily pressed in pins with split ends on them. So it's not nearly as strong as the spring bar setup. And when I did have these apart, like I said, you can tell this is all folded uh, stainless steel or metal here. The pressed clasp also on this one is a giveaway that it's much uh, cheaper and, and not as well made. And then of course, looking at the case back here, this is a pressed on case back. Um, pops on and off right here. There's no screw down or anything like that. And that keeps the water resistance on this at an advertised three atmospheres or 30 meters. So really what we would generally consider not a watch to swim with. Now I, w I say that, but then watching uh, Mad Rock or Jamie's video on the watch, he set it outside and he said one night it rained like buckets of water pouring and then it snowed and the watch froze. And so never, from what I could tell, never penetrated the case and never ruined the movement. So very, very cool in that manner, especially at a $20 price point. Now it's not a G-Shock, so you don't have the uh, protection up here. You don't have the uh, G-Shock here. It's not solar. It's a simple battery powered watch. You have some simple, clean, easy modes here. You have an alarm. I think you have an alarm and then you might, let's see. Yeah, you have alarm and snooze. So you just have basically two simple alarm functions. You have a stopwatch function, which is really nice, simple. Oh, start it up here, I think. Start it up there. Stop it. Clear it. Very simple and easy to use. You have your uh, dual time, so you can set it for another city. I have this set for three hours ahead. So it's actually set for, um, I think I have it set for three hours ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. So basically it's showing me the East Coast time there. Then you've got your timer. You can set this for however many hours you want. You use this button down here. You hold it down to adjust. I'll show you here. So you just go ahead and do that. And then you can adjust that for however many hours. Push it again, and it's going to set that timer. You can start it by pushing that button right there. So simple, easy to use. Going back out of that function takes us right back to the day function. You can see you have your uh, day and your date there. You can also change that simply with the push of a button to your 24 hour time. So simple. So it's a simple and easy to use watch. Definitely has a lot of good looks, but guys, it is just really just a knockoff of a super, super spectacular watch in this G-Shock here, but pretty surprising how much they look alike, huh? I'm not supporting this watch. I'm not saying you guys should go out and buy one, but if you are interested in buying one of the full metal G-Shocks, but you just don't know if it's going to fit you or if you're going to like it very much, this might be an option at $20 to pick one up. You can get these at AliExpress, uh, Banggood, you know, um, Alibaba, any of those different places like that. So there's the wrist shot of the SKME on the channel. And I'm going to dim the lights here in a minute. We're going to show all the uh, luminescence of all three of these watches, but I want to show them on the wrist first. So we'll start with this SKMEI there. So looking good. And let's go ahead. It actually really does look good on the wrist and it's super, super comfortable. I have to tell you, it's, it is a comfortable watch to wear at that $20 price point. Here is my, my uh, 5610. And this watch, I wear this quite a bit. This is my go-to gym watch. It's super comfortable. If I'm out doing yard work or any kind of manual work, I do wear this watch. It's really comfortable. I love the Combi bracelet. Um, I've never, I would probably never go back to a standard plastic bracelet unless the watch comes with it. But this Combi bracelet is just spectacular. So there's that one. And then we'll get the... The GMW B5000 on my wrist. Now, this is not adjusted for me because this is Chris's watch, but you get an idea of what this thing looks like. And it is a spectacular watch. Feels like the real thing compared to the to the SKMEI. Now, this this feels good on the wrist, but this feels like the real deal. It, it just it feels completely different. The softness to the edges of the metal. It's just finished correctly and done right. So. Really, really nice looking piece. So let's dim the lights and let's show you the luminescence on all three of these watches. One thing I want to point out really quick is, is I've dimmed the lights and it's not completely dark in here, but I want to point out how legible the, the, the standard um, readouts are. These negative readouts here you have on either side, just in a slight bit of darkness. And this is very common with these negative readouts. Very difficult to read. Even this inexpensive $20 watch, from a distance, I can tell exactly what time it is, even through the camera. I can't read either of these two watches currently right now through the camera. Now, that's just the way it goes with those negative displays. Everyone kind of knows that's the way it is, but I wanted to point that out. So let's go ahead and get this one up here first in front of the camera and show you guys the backlight on this watch. Very nice, very bright. It does have the function with the auto luminescence, so you can, I'm not going to be able to probably get it to, to work here on the camera. There it goes. So as you flip it up, like if you were to read your wrist uh, or read your watch and it's in a darker environment like we have here, it will actually light the watch up. Now, it's not quite dark enough, but gives you guys a good idea of the backlight on that watch. Now, let's go ahead and show you the $20 SKMEI. Now, I was kind of surprised with the light on this watch because I think it's really, really good at the price point of $20. Go ahead and get that thing lit up and it glows, guys. It really, really glows. Now, I don't know how much this is going to affect the battery life on this watch, but it's definitely not going to be a problem to read it. There is no auto illuminescence. There's no way to fix that or set it to where it works when you tip it up. This is a very simple, simple module in this watch. That's why the price is so low, especially when they're using this full metal case like this um, to keep it at $20. It's using a very simple module, but it's a very effective module. It's a module that I found in a ton of different watches, and it really has everything you need um, at the price point. So very cool. So, all right, let's jump on over to the Big Daddy, the really nice one. Now, this one is much easier to read in this low light compared to the 5610 over here. I've noticed that right off, and I do love the light function on this watch. It's kind of more of a fade in and fade out. See how that does that? Very bright. 
I, you know, there's just something about everything this watch does that feels a little bit nicer, just a little bit more well-made, and I think that's why, you know, you're paying the price for this watch. It doesn't feel like an inexpensive digital watch. If, when you know, when you know these are $400, when you pick one up and you start to play with it, you definitely feel it. You definitely feel it. So let's go ahead and get the lights up, talk real quick, and then go out, guys. All right, so bottom line, guys, on the video is you get what you pay for. This is a really high-end watch, and it does feel like a better, more expensive watch. You have full Bluetooth connectivity. You have the multi-band 6. You have extremely well-done, full-metal construction on the watch. And even though it's a digital watch for $400, I really, really think it's worth it. For On the other hand, at $163, $165, these are going for. Now, that's on the combi bracelet. If you do want the uh, standard you know, Casio-style bracelet, these will come down under $140. But I think you get a whole lot of watch in this one for the money. I happen to like the combi bracelet and I'm willing to pay the extra $30 for that. Whole lot of watch for the money for under $200. You have solar technology, which you do have in the Full Metal G also. Solar charging, multi-band 6 technology, so it's always going to keep the right time. And it's just a really, really well done watch. You can get pretty much do anything with these. Now, for $20, guys, it's hard for me to really bag on this watch. The biggest thing I can bag on about this watch is it's a complete ripoff of this watch here. This company, uh, SKMEI, that's pretty much all they do. Uh, every watch they make out there is pretty much a ripoff of this brand here, Casio and the G-Shock series, who really knows how to do it right. Now, the only reason I would probably tell you guys to buy one of these watches is number one, if you just can't really afford one of these and you would like a full metal G-Shock, I'm not putting any shame on anyone for buying one of these. I'm more, it's more shameful for the company that makes them. They're fully copying them, um, you know, but it is what it is. But if you don't have the money to buy one of these, it's perfectly acceptable to purchase one of these, okay? That is what it is. Or if you're thinking about picking up one of the Full Metal G-Shocks, but you don't know quite if you'd like it that much, or you don't know if you'd actually wear it that often or like the feel of it, I think it's perfectly reasonable to spend $20 from Banggood or AliExpress and pick one of these up to give it a whirl, to give it a try on the wrist and see if you're going to like it. So, all right, guys, a little bit of fun here on a Saturday. I can't remember the last time I did a video that was this long, but I, but I hope you guys like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.